So, here we are once again. T-Mobile emerges as hedge fund favorite with the stock on a tear. And their stock has been on the tear even as a standalone before they merged with Sprint. Their stock was on the up and up. And their entire business segment has been on an up and up. And now after the Sprint merger has completed, that's just been further accelerating. So just the two points here from the Bloomberg article, I will leave it in the description down below so you guys could check it out. The stock was the biggest holding at Stephen Cohen's 0.72. T-Mobile shares have outperformed this year and are up 26%. So I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you guys about that and... What I'm hearing, where this is going, and why T-Mobile is positioned the way they're positioned. So if you listen to some of the conferences, some of the analyst days that T-Mobile had in the past, they told us this would happen because they are strategically positioned the way that they are, are operating today. They knew post the merger, they would have the, lo the lowest cost price, which they do. Now, I know there's still debates about our pricing going up. Is pricing going to go up? It doesn't have to. T-Mobile does not have to raise their prices to get better financials. They can continue growing. They have huge upside in, in other segments, business, government, rural, home internet. So they don't have to raise prices. And they could just stop offering free lines and keep pricing the way it is. So I'm growing less confident that they are going to raise prices because there's absolutely no need for it whatsoever. So, and that's, and that's what I mean by looking and listening uh, to the numbers, right? So in the past, T-Mobile has always said, okay, we're, we're going to keep growing. We're positioned to grow. And that's what they have continued doing. They have continued to grow the business and it's on the up and up now they are positioned better than they were you know prior to 2020 after before the merger right they got the assets that they wanted they got the spectrum they got the the synergies so now they're operating on those bases and now they're taking it much further as to as to here as we see that the stock is up you know year over year again now as I always say, you know, I'm no stock expert, so don't go take anything I say and go and buy stock and and trade and sell. I'm just giving you my opinion, but I think the market is in tune with T-Mobile. They just like T-Mobile. They like the growth. They like the financials. They like the service revenue. They like the deleveraging happening next year. They like the lower leverage that they are um, scheduled to have lower, le uh, lower leverage at least project, projecting to have lower leverage. So that's all favored by the market, 100%. So now T-Mobile is going to continue operating at we have nothing to lose. That's the model that they're taking because they don't. What do they have to lose? So to speak, right? Of course, they have a lot to lose. I mean, they got, they got customers they could lose. They got financials they could lose. But they're operating on the type of basis we have nothing left to lose. So they're going to go all out and compete. They're going to keep saying they have the best and the largest 5G network. They're going to go into these rural areas and they're going to keep handing out home grants. They're going to keep putting up concerts. They're going to keep marketing. They're going to go big. They're, they're, they're simply competing. That's all T-Mobile is doing. They are simply competing. And it works. They're investing money on the marketing side. They're, they're competing in rule. They're competing for government now. They're competing for enterprise. They're competing, they're competing for SMB. And all these segments they have never really competed in because they know they properly couldn't. They didn't have the assets. They didn't have the money. But now they're competing. And they're competing with the attitude we have nothing left to lose and it's working for them. They have continued the momentum that they had as a standalone, so they're continuing to grow. The financials are getting better, as I mentioned. 
and that's going to look better even next year as they as they close out the sprint network and they they accelerate those synergies the financials are going to get better now i know there's still some people that 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 have doubt or whatever the numbers are right in front of you the projections that i've already seen they're already projecting out as far as the second quarter of 2023 i mean t-mobile's kicking butt i just recently saw the market the national market share numbers verizon is almost at one percent loss nationally through june one percent they are projected to lose another one percent by the end of the year that's two percent nationally that's a lot in business terms if we're talking share losing two percent nationally is insane the anal- the analysis that i've seen even say that the five hundred thousand loss in the third quarter that i've been told may be conservative for verizon that's how many customers are leaving and that potentially could further accelerate for this iphone launch right if you follow my twitter i i dropped some stuff on there i do have uh i do have some additional info some some documents that i was able to not share but i did post the cases official cases that have been accepted and received by a store for the iPhone 14. So that lineup, the four models, iPhone mini is gone. That's official now. I've got I've got some other stuff. I know some of the promotional offerings that I was told not to share yet. But it's going to get competitive and Verizon is looking like they don't want to compete. T-Mobile will compete. T-Mobile will adjust. Because they're known for growth and they want the growth. So if they have to pay a little more, they're willing to do it. Verizon says no. We're going to back off. Han said that much in the second quarter earnings. It's not sustainable. We're backing off. So they're not going to grow. And and like I said, the network was never the problem. It's before everything is incorporated, right? The C-band is going to be at scale, right? 175 million. That's going to be a lot of C-band sites out there. And they're still not winning. So T-Mobile, if you look at them overall, they're, they're doing the right things on marketing. They are investing in the network where it matters to them, right? They're pushing the scale of the of the network as fast as they can because in these rural environments, as soon as they attack and there's coverage, they win immediately. Port ratios 30 to 2, 26 to 1, immediately. And I've said this before, that's where T-Mobile is accelerating. They want to accelerate. They want to grow capital further because that's where they... That's where they want to win because they can see it, it It's works. If you know it works, you're going to keep going after it in, in, a, in a bigger way because it's working. So I just wanted to briefly discuss that with you on this Saturday that um, a lot of these third party firms, analyst firms, Goldman Sachs, all of them are, are, are positioned to favor T-Mobile or positioning themselves. And as you can see it, it's happening. Everyone else is on a down in, in, on the stock. Comcast, Verizon, AT&T, everybody is negative. T-Mobile is the only one positive. So everyone is shifting towards T-Mobile and they're growing successfully. So before I close out this video, as I've, as I've stated before, if we were to hit a recession, which according to the definition, we are two quarters of a negative GDP, you are in a recession but some people say we're not but even if we hit a full-fledged recession t-mobile financially and price-wise is best positioned across the board recession inflation whichever you look at it they're the best positioned and like mike siebert said at the very beginning of the merger closing if they feel further competitive pressure they have the balance sheet to defend their position and they truly do So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I will see you in the next one. Peace.